Good morning. Welcome to another video. So if you watched my last video, I am officially on a little bit of a fitness journey. Um, so I have been changing the way that I'm eating. Um, through this whole thing, I uh, did a fitness challenge with street parking, which is my online CrossFit gym. So that is a nutrition focused challenge. I'm not really gonna get into that too, too much, but I am following the guidelines that they have for that challenge. If you don't know what street parking is, Google it. This challenge is called Jack by June, and so far I have been liking it and doing pretty well, but it's about 10 o'clock, I woke up. What time did you wake me up? Come here, come here. Come say hi and tell everyone what time you woke me up. Come on. Good morning. My name is Minnie Mana. I woke mommy up at 7 a.m. Why? Because I can. And I was hungry. So I woke up a few hours ago and made myself a cup of coffee. It's cold, so I'm going to reheat that up. And I just started to feel a little bit hungry. So when I'm not working, I kind of like take it easy, listen to my body. I was in the car for four and a half hours yesterday. So I don't, I know I definitely need to get a workout in, but it's not a huge priority for me to get it in right when I wake up. Um, so I'm feeling a little bit hungry. I'm going to make myself some breakfast and then I will probably work out an hour or two after that. So I'm going to reheat my coffee, make myself some breakfast and of course, take you along through my day. make my coffee in the Keurig. I have a refillable pod. I just like it better. I should probably close it. So. so in my coffee, I have either been using my homemade cashew milk, which is really good, or a nut pod, because it has a little bit of flavor, helps curb my sweet tooth, sort of. Um, or a combination of the two. Rob and I did find this delicious uh, cold brew espresso. So sometimes I do make myself uh, iced coffee with a combination and it, and it tastes really good, so. So for breakfast, I am going to do oatmeal because I'm gonna work out next, so I'm gonna make sure I get a few extra carbs, and I usually mix in some protein powder. Top, I'll show you, top it all off with all the good stuff, so. One thing that I'm really trying to do with this challenge, coffee. So one thing that I really am trying to do with this challenge is to make sure that I have really balanced meals. So protein, carb, fat, well, good fat, and um, vegetable. So what I'll do is I'll make the oatmeal, I'll put the protein powder in it, and I'll top it with a little bit of almond butter. I'll actually probably do half a serving so I can have half a banana with it. Um, and then on the side, I'll eat a few carrots. The vegetables always help me to feel full, so I make sure to have them with every meal. Okay. 
So, water, coffee, carrots, and oatmeal. I'm hungry, I'm ready, I'm excited. Let's eat. Delicious. Okay, I'm getting ready to work out. I'm doing a street parking workout and maybe an arm workout that I saw on YouTube. Um, but yeah. So my workout today consists of lying leg lifts and deadlifts. So I'm gonna be using a 35 pound kettlebell for the dump deadlifts. So I am trying to think of something to put on the floor underneath that, that I could technically stand on, but also technically won't destroy the floor. Workout complete. It was pretty easy. Not too bad, only nine minutes of work, so that's why I'm gonna do the other arm workout on YouTube, just to build some muscle. <sighs> Gotta get sweating. That was a tricep workout. Oh, that was a tricep workout by Kaylee Cohen, I think her name is. I'm gonna link her down below. It was really good. I enjoyed it. It's about one o'clock, 12.45. I'm not particularly hungry. I'm still pretty full from breakfast. I kind of ate a late breakfast for me. Um, so what I think I'm gonna do to kind of meal prep is I'm going to uh, make some lentil meat. Mommy is salty from her workout and I would like to lick her. So what I'm gonna do is make some lentil meatballs so that I can have some meat replacements for the week. So I'm gonna do that and probably eat the meatballs for lunch. So this is my lentil meatballs. I will link the Pinterest recipe down below. I love these. This is burger seasoning. I actually kind of like it because it adds a meaty flavor to the non-meaty lentils. Okay, now on to dry ingredients. Make sure to spray with cooking oil. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Meatballs are done. Put it on one piece of toast. Gonna eat some carrots with it because we're basically out of veggies. And while I was making it, I had a little bit of almond butter, so I don't really need a fat, so. And eat this and then go to Target. Hmm. So it is much later. Rob and I went to Target, got my glasses tightened. I don't know. I still feel like they're off, but I just feel like the reason I got them tied is because they fall off my face. Anyways, Rob and I went to Target and then we went to Burlington and right now he has started cooking dinner because Rob's the best husband ever. So it's a little loud out there. So I came in here to talk to you but I will show you what he's cooking. He's doing spaghetti. I'm gonna be doing 
butternut squash zoodles. Maybe a little bit of pasta, haven't decided yet. I'm trying to, like I said before, keep my plate balanced. So I think that I will do the zoodles so that I could maybe have a piece of bread. Or if I don't do the bread, then I'll have some regular noodles as well. I know he'll probably be using a lot of olive oil in the sauce, so I won't be um, too concerned about getting a good fat. Olive oil is a good fat. So, let me go show you what he's doing. Oh, we are um, pescatarian, plant-based, whatever. I don't like like having labels as to how I eat because I don't think morality is tied to what you eat but this is a long story and whatever but he is doing um he's using the turkey less hamburgers from Trader Joe's and making it into a meat sauce so let me go show you what he's doing and I will see you when I'm eating. Thanks, Rob. You're well, thank you so much for coming along with me today. Um, Rob's food was absolutely delicious. Thanks, Rob. You're welcome. I was supposed to eat another carb, but I wasn't hungry, so I didn't. But now I'm remembering I have to run in the morning, so maybe. <sighs> I'll eat a piece of bread or something before that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I hope to see you soon. Stay safe and peace out. Don't shake your head with me, sir. Making funny voices? Don't shake your head, sir. Excuse me? Excuse me, sir? Excuse me? Yes. Hi. Hi.